Okay, so these are going to be my top five favorite things and also my top five least favorite things about the all new Xiaomi Mi Pad 5 Pro here. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, the first one is going to be the price right now. I paid actually a little bit more than what you would normally pay for this guy here. So if you are in the market for this, you should be looking at around 400 bucks coming from China because there's no global version for this tablet here. So if you order it from like eBay or something, you can actually find it for like 400, 450 bucks, I would say, you know, 450, 480 to up to like $600. So the price based off of the specs that this guy is loaded with, it's actually pretty respectable, especially for people who are looking for something affordable that can offer them flagship specs. This guy here will definitely do that. You know, at 400 and you know, it, the direct conversion should be around $400, but obviously the retailers, you know, in order to get them to you, it may end up being 450 or up to $500. But either way, the specs are actually pretty nice. I'm still impressed. Now, the next thing here, my second favorite thing about this tablet here is going to be the design of this guy here. Now, sure, it has kind of that familiar tone we see on like Apple devices, but it's good to see that they built something that is so premium. You know, it feels, it looks like a pro tablet. It's pretty dense. You have great feature placements, right? So anywhere from the power button, that's a combo with the fingerprint sensor to, you know, just the placement of the speaker. So quad setup for the speakers here, very, very nice. You know, the three pins there for the Keyboard, the official keyboard for it, the camera on the back also, very, very nice way to put it on this tablet. And without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and talk about my third favorite thing about this tablet here. It is, of course, the display. This is an 11 inch tablet, of course. You have the IPS display here. The resolution is 1600 by 2560. So great image quality here and colors are very well pronounced, right? So it's a very, very nice display here. And it's also a high refresh rate display at up to 120 hertz. That is really, really nice. Obviously, you can revert that to the basic, the regular 60 hertz for the refresh rate, but you do have the option to keep it at 120 hertz. You know, you have HDR 10 support here, Dolby Vision. It's a very nice display. And by the way, if this is your first time visiting and you do like the content so far, I truly appreciate that. Please do me a favor, hit both the like and the subscribe button there. It's a tremendous boost to the channel. Again, I very much appreciate that. Anyway, the next one here is gonna be the chipset, right? So I mentioned earlier that this is pretty affordable for what it's loaded with. So as far as the platform goes, what we're looking at here is a Snapdragon 870 or 870G, if you were to go for the 5G model there. You know, performance is top notch on here. You know, I can't, I cannot argue with that. Performance is just very fluid, super snappy. You have the MIUI sitting on top of that Android 11 and it's been pretty well implemented. And like I like to do, I like to give it some perspective. The Tab S7, the Galaxy Tab S7 is a top notch tablet and it's loaded with a Snapdragon 865 plus, right? So here you have an 870 meaning it's clocked a little bit higher than that 865 plus. That just tells you, you know, especially given that where this guy is priced at, you know, about $400 and based where you are, you could get, you could pay about 450 to get one. That is actually a pretty good deal. The next one here is going to be the battery and specifically how fast you can charge that battery. It's loaded with an 8,600 milliamp battery here. So pretty large battery for something this size. That's, you know, 8,600 milliamp. That's a little bit higher than what you would typically get for something around 11 inches. So that's already a very good thing. And it is fast charge capable. Well, hyper fast charge capable at up to 67 watt. Not too many tablets or devices out there can be fast charged, you know, at 67 watts. So that is a very good thing. Although, unfortunately, they don't include that in the box. So let's say if you happen to kill the battery on your tablet, that's something that you wouldn't really worry too much if you happen to have one of those, you know, hyper fast charger, right? So you could get the battery life up to 100% in no time. And speaking of battery, let's go. This is a very nice segue into the next category here. So my top five least favorite things about this tablet and that is of course with the that has to do with the battery again it's just the fact that it's not included in the box so when you buy this guy here all you get is just the tablet that's it the tablet and a dongle that is literally it you have a little dongle that can you know convert USB-C to a headphone jack and that's pretty much it so just this no charger you have to buy the charger on your own including buying obviously the 67 something that can charge up to 67 watt and speaking of USB-C to 
headphone jack dongle this guy here is that's my next point right so my second least favorite thing about this tablet is going to be the fact that the usb type c port that you have here is super basic you do not have the ability to extend or to project whatever content you have on here it's literally used just for charging right charging and maybe data transferring super slow data transfer right so it doesn't push out video signals so even though it's supposed to be a pro tablet you cannot you know obviously you'd be limited if you're trying to do you're trying to take your productivity level to something where you have multiple displays pushing out your content out of this tablet, you know, and working on different monitors. So that's definitely a downside, something that I really, really do not like about this tablet here. But anyway, so the next one, the third one here is going to be the fact that there's no global version for this tablet. As of now, if you want to go ahead and order one of these, you would have to order it directly from mainland China, right? So what I have here is the Chinese version. I hope had been that they would have the pro the Mi Pad at 5 Pro out, you know, for the global version, like they did with the regular Mi Pad 5. But as of today, as of the shooting of this video, still no Mi Pad 5 Pro global version. So if you absolutely want this tablet, you're gonna have to either go through eBay or you know AliExpress, Alibaba, whatever those things are, and order it directly from China. The fourth one here is going to be the inability to expand that internal storage. What I have here is the 128 gigs base internal storage. So a little bit like Apple, you do not have the ability to expand the storage on this tablet, unfortunately. I don't know why these manufacturers are following these trends, right? But anyway, so that's one of the things, and Apple had been famous for that, it is famous for that, for not giving you the option to expand your internal storage. And Samsung seems to be following suit with some devices, you know, phones. They haven't done that on tablets just yet. It's kind of an Apple move. And speaking of Apple move, this is also another nice segue into the last least favorite thing about this tablet here is just the fact that maybe they copied Apple a little too much. So beyond just the fact that you cannot expand that internal storage, MIUI. So my fifth thing here is gonna be MIUI is just, a little too much like Apple, right? So don't get me wrong, like I said before, it's pretty fluid, but the fact that it is literally a copycat of the Apple OS, it's just it's just weird. Now I know that the you know the the CEO or the, or the founder of Xiaomi, I know that he's a huge fan of you know he was a huge fan of Steve Jobs, but to just copy pretty much everything, I don't know, man. Anyway, so I don't like that, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. It's just very odd to have an Android tablet that you use it again. This is my first me oh, Xiaomi tablet. I've never owned one before, but that's just my take though. Those are my top favorite and my top least. Favorite things about this tablet here. I'm certainly hoping that you enjoyed this. If you did, of course, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your questions. Make sure to catch you in that comment section like I always do. I'm also going to catch you in the next video. And up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.